once again, YouTube, and welcome back to the domain. In front of me, I have the new images for the Halo Mega Fan Vote 2023. You've probably also seen it from the thumbnail, but I am, like, losing it. This is the coolest set from concept to production that, I, that I've ever seen. Like, it, it's, it's absurdly good. There are even more secrets to this set that Mega withheld originally. There are even more additional new molds, like... There's never been a set with so many new molds, particularly so many armors, two new weapons, and so much more. So thank you very much for tuning in today. I'm going to break down the actual images piece by piece, give you as much detail as possible. And the big news is that the sale of this set goes live on Monday. The sale for the set is live on Monday. I currently don't know the price, but the second I know, I'm going to attach it down below. I've asked Mega, I'm waiting for a response, and the pinned comment and the description of this video will have the price when it is available. But yeah, the sale goes live on Monday and it's going to be there for two weeks on sale on Mattel Creations exclusively with worldwide shipping and it will be the only time this is ever sold. Now confirmed by Mega, this will be the only drop ever. For two weeks, you'll be able to pre-order this set. It'll ship next year worldwide shipping and very affordable worldwide shipping. And then that's it. It's an exclusive that will go down in history. And honestly, I'm <laughs> legitimately going to be investing in this set. I know that in the past, buying a large quantity of a set can be seen as, you know, obviously scalping when there's limited supplies. But Mega is literally producing as many of these as they receive orders for. So I'm going to be investing in some hard-earned stonks with my new Mega Fan Vote 2023. I know what you're here for. So without further ado, I'm going to show the images. Then I'm going to break down the actual Mega Fan Vote, the history of the Mega Fan Vote, and then I'm going to break down the actual set in its entirety. Without further ado, this is your final render for the Halo Mega Fan Vote 2023. Check it out. This thing is wild. <laughs> the paint apps on some of those Spartans, mwah, chef's kiss, like they look so epic. So uh, first of all, we're gonna talk about the Halo Mega Fan Vote. Yes, this is the third in a row of Mega Fan Votes. The first one, we could vote on a figure between four options. Hashtag justice for Thrall Slayer. And the winner was the Spartan Haunted Helmet that came in Halo Heroes uh, about late last year. It's still releasing in some places like CVS Pharmacy right now. And then last year, the Mega Fan Vote was on a new set between four choices. I voted for the Warden Eternal originally, but I was very happy that the Traxxas Factory Flood won, and that has been rebranded as the Floodgate Firefight drops this fall. I'm still waiting on an official word back as to whether the Floodgate Firefight will be available on Mattel Creations, but I really do hope so. This year saw, in my opinion, an even better fan vote. So much genuine contribution to the set. Like, it's all well and good voting on one figure, even though we didn't know what the eventual color of the figure would be. It's all well and good voting on one set, even though we had no control over what was in the set and it was only a concept image so we didn't really know but this is like We've designed this. I think this is my eighth video on the topic. I've been going in on this for the last month. I particularly use the event to grow my knowledge on how to make YouTube shorts, which I think I'm getting pretty good at. And yeah, now we've got the final image. Like, let me, let me just see this again. I, I spent last night just 
staring at this thing. And then I called Strandy42, one of my friends, and I was like, I can't tell you anything about something that I've just seen, but I need you to just listen. I didn't tell him anything. I was just like, I I'm looking at an image and I just, I, I need to tell someone that, that I'm doing this and that it looks great. So, uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's, let's rewind a little the bit. The Mega Halo fan vote returned this year. Four rounds of voting. We had an initial concept for a set, a Warthog, a Mongoose, and two fire teams of four. We knew that we were getting a new chest and Firefall and Stormfall helmets, but we didn't know anything else. Round one was voting on a Warthog coating, and Neon Superfly was the winner. I liked a lot of those options, but Neon Superfly is just so dope. I love that futuristic cyberpunk aesthetic. The colors are a little brighter than I expected, and it's mainly just colors on different pieces, not actual paint apps. But I think it still works really well, and that black also it looks great as well. I think you could easily substitute out pieces of this and make an all-black Warthog, which might be worth doing. And then the second round was on a Mongoose, and the winner was the Gen 2. 12 mongoose and I really wanted that one to win because gen 12 is a coating that has not even existed in Halo Infinite yet There was a leak on the warthog and the razorback But we never actually saw any leak or any coating for a gen 12 mongoose So it's really cool clearly 343 have shared that asset with mega but haven't even had it leaked in the game yet So it was really dope to see something that we were probably gonna get in season Maybe four of Halo Infinite actually realized in a set already and then it came to the fire teams and mega had their first trick up their sleeve. We were allowed to cast two votes and you could choose between a load of fire teams, Neon Superfly and Estate Gold were your winners. I was concerned Mega wouldn't actually be able to directly apply those coatings to our figures. I thought they'd be like... I thought they just wouldn't translate as well, but I was wrong. These look awesome. The highlights of pink and electric blue, just amazing. Like, they look so sick. And so we had all of our figures, and Mega had teased for a while that there might be a secret vote involved. And round four in the last week of February was voting on some weapons. And it was between four options. The winner was... Mega's third trick up their sleeve. Apparently the voting was a tie, so Mega decided to produce both. The Cinder Shot and the Heat Wave. I was particularly hoping for the Cinder Shot, and they've actually done it really nicely with like actually two handles for the figure. I love when I can have, particularly with an assault rifle, I love when the figure can just hold sort of the barrel and maybe hold it over its shoulder. This is gonna be really nice for that. You can hold it on both of the handles and position it however you want. So Mega. <laughs> decided to introduce two new helmets, Firefall and Stormfall, a brand new chest, and two new weapons. Oh, and also a nice new cap on the front of the Warthog chain turret. But they still weren't done yet. You may have seen in these images, there is a particular <laughs> armor attachment that is a little divisive in the community, but I love it. It's the cat ears. <laughs> They're in this set and they come as spare helmets. The fact that we've got the cat ears is so funny to me and something that I've been campaigning for for a while. I mean, not heavily campaigning. I've just mentioned it in a few videos. I reviewed Flustered MCX's cat ear customs, and I've seen a lot of them being produced by 3D printers, particularly LS3D printing. Go check him out. His store's amazing, ls3dprinting.com. We've got the cat ears, boys. <laughs> and the great thing is, it doesn't even matter if you don't like cat ears. It's a spare helmet, so you don't even need to use it if you don't want to. I made an expose video on my new channel, Simon Says, about the Halo Infinite store. And in that video, I complained that I didn't have the cat ears. I'd just been away from my desk or away from my Xbox for the three times they'd released in the past. I think I was moving house at one point. So I still didn't have the cat ears, and that was my main argument for why the Halo Infinite store should just have a back catalog, which it's still should. But then the next week, the Halo Infinite Cat Ears came to the store and I had so many people on like DMing me on Instagram and Twitter, including Mega Constructs News, also a great uh, Instagram and Twitter account. And they were all messaging me saying, bro, the Cat Ears are back. And I immediately went and purchased them. They're, ju they're just great. You know, you love to hate them. They're like a British expression in England about Marmite. You either love or you hate it. Marmite is like a yeast based spread <laughs> for toast. <laughs> And uh, it's it's certainly not for everyone. How about another beautiful addition to this set? All weapons are painted, every single one. There's a load of spare weapons too. Now from this image, I've analyzed it a lot. I can see 12 weapons. We got two BRs, two heat waves, two cinder shots, a spanker, a sidekick. And then we've got three ARs. We actually seem to have two identical ones on Team Neon Superfly. And then we've got an additional weapon on the back of one of the Spartans on the Warthog. And I can't quite identify it. I think it might be another BR. So I think we might have two BRs and two assault rifles matching from Team Neon Superfly, which I'm all down for. But think about it. Eight figures 
with 12 painted weapons. When have we ever had that? Like, we literally haven't. All really well painted, and it's not just basic paint jobs. Like, yes, the cinder shots and the heat waves, they seem to match, and they are just two colors. You know, a primary and a secondary. But then you take the estate gold ones, which are my favorite. They're not just gold and gray. They've got little white accents and highlights running through them, particularly what looks like a little flashlight on the end of the sidekick. I love it. There's even a white circle around the spanker, and then you've got the neon superfly weapons, which are a mix of electric blue and pink highlights, which perfectly, perfectly color coordinate with both the Warthog and the Spartans. Man, this looks good. Man, this looks good. The fire teams you can make now. I need at least two of these sets. I need one to have sealed. I'm probably going to keep one sealed for sure. But I'm definitely just going to position the uh, fire teams separately. I might make some special diorama of the fire teams fighting. I mean, I most definitely will. They have gone above and beyond with this. And then you look at some of the fine, fine details. Particular highlights for me are the glowing green eyes of the Stormfall. I mean, all of the Spartans from these sets have green visors, which is a super unique touch. The pink and blue striped highlights around the trailblazer. And even, oh man, look at his chest. Those shotgun shells look so good. I mean, we are getting a ton of new armor is here. I'm reacting to this for the first time, but I'm seeing the more I'm looking at it, all those different chest variants. And the chests are completely mirrored between the two fire teams, but you see the difference. When you compare those Mark 7s of what paint apps can do, they look like entirely different chests to me. There's even little pink and blue highlights across the knees and legs. Oh, and I didn't even mention, <laughs> I didn't even mention the cybernetic limbs as well. We've got a cybernetic leg and arm mold now, and we had an arm mold before. But it was an old Terminator arm that didn't have articulation. This is a brand new mold. So you're telling me in one set, in one set that was a fan vote, we have new helmets, new chests, two new weapons, and cybernetic limbs, a new piece on our warthog, and the cat, the cat ears. So good. So good. I'm elated by this. I'm elated. And you know why I'm elated? Because this is a great step forward. We've been in the dark a little bit in the UK with distribution for a while. The ships worldwide on Mattel creation. The last year in particular, people in America have been growingly concerned over stock levels at different stores. I'm talking to you directly. Yes, you at home. If you love Mega and you want to support Mega going forward, buy from Mattel Creations. We have no idea what economic problems will face us in the next couple of years, but if Mega can sell directly on Mattel Creations, ship direct to consumer with a higher profit margin, and ship worldwide, they're going to lock in more support gradually more and more. And I think this is the best way that we cut through the issues we have and improve Mega together through more Mega Halo fan votes to make the community feel like they're low-key designing the toys. We could do this more and more. Like, this could become more and more of a thing the more effort we put into supporting this. And maybe there is a future where Mega stocks their entire catalog on this website. I mean, think about it. I've talked about in the past, maybe Mega starts selling full boxes of Halo Heroes or blind bags on there. How would you like to be able to buy a full set of Halo Heroes worry-free at retail, direct from Mega, worldwide shipping. It's a dream. Like, it's literally the perfect scenario. How would you like to buy a full box of blind bags, a full case of them? Direct from Mega, worldwide shipping, very affordable retail price. I mean... It's a done deal. Sign me up. It's a done deal. This is the Halo Mega Fan Vote 2023, and I want to really thank Mega for providing me with this image 24 hours early so I could make this video in advance. We are getting a doozy of a set, probably the best Halo Infinite set so far. The only set ever, the first set ever, to be designed by us. By us as a community through four rounds of voting all through February. This is gonna be for sale on Monday, on sale for two weeks, and ships worldwide next year through Mattel Creations with affordable worldwide shipping. I don't know the price yet, but the second I do know a price, I will put it as the pinned comment and in the description down below, so keep on checking. The Stormfall helmet, the Firefall helmet, beautiful chests, the cat ears, a whole array of painted weapons, and two Halo Infinite inspired painted vehicles drop next year in two beautiful fire teams with the Mega Halo Fan Vote 2023 on sale on Monday. Thanks as always for the support, guys. The channel has just been uh, really picking up steam recently, and it's so exciting to be collaborating more and more with Mega. I hope you've enjoyed yourself today, and as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there. Drop down below what you are most excited about for this set, and I'll see you in the next video. The Domain is signing off.